Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Everybody doing this? Hey, yeah, yeah, we're here a little, a little bit. Yeah, 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 sorry. Right. Oh, oh. Hey, y'all, you see what's going on? Alexa, stop. All right, it's having a good time with you guys. Ready to learn a little bit about some Chinese history. That's where we are. We're going to learn a little bit about it's called classical China. And before we move into it, let's hear a joke. Let's see what Alexa's got here. Alexa, tell me a joke. Why did the baseball catcher spend the night at the field? Because he felt right at home. Oh, he felt right at home, catcher. Never mind. That was pretty bad, huh? That was pretty good. We'll get back to you later. All right, here we go. So what we're going to do, our topic is called mandate of heaven. Now, before you get into it, you need to know two, two, think about those two words here, mandate. To mandate something, looks like it's supposed to be like an M, is, it's like it's required. It has to be done. It's a mandate. It's mandatory. Now, if it's mandated from heaven, who's doing the mandate? That's right. Who's doing it? That's right. The Lord, the God, the God's mandating something. So here we go. We're going to look at how, why Chinese dynasties came and went and why they, the Chinese people, they really didn't have a problem with it because of this concept called mandate of heaven. So here we go. Let's get into it. Have a good time. All right, so this idea, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go all the way back to basically Chinese uh, history's first dynasties. And there's a little song kind of goes along with it. It helps you remember them. I pronounce them wrong. It's okay. I pronounce them the way they're spelled. It goes like this. Shang Zhao Chin, Shang Zhao Chin, Sweet Tang Song, Sweet Tang Song. And I'll stop right there before I weird you out too much. But anyways, those are different names of dynasties. Shang Zhao Chin, Sweet Tang Song. All right, so why did they come about? Let's see here. Well, the, all right, let's start off with the Zhao, Shang Zhao. We know very little bit about the Shang. The Zhao is when we start knowing more. They had writing. All right, well, they believed that events in the world were meant to mirror and align with those in the heavens. And that the powers of the heavens gave rights to people on earth to rule over each other. All right, in other words, what this means is that the rulers received a mandate. And that's an order. Uh, some might even think of it as a blessing. It's a mandate or a blessing from the gods or from the heavens. That's why it's called the mandate of heaven. All right, because of this link with the divine heavenly powers, those who ruled were expected to do so with honor and dignity and with the goal of keeping society at peace and harmony. All right, all this sounds really good, but if we know anything about Chinese history, we know that there was a lot of problems. All right, so mandate of heaven. Here, we go. let's get a little bit deeper into it. Now, so when these problems would, ar ar would arise, here we go. The harmony that was supposed to happen with this guy that was in charge because the gods put him in charge. All right. It began, people began to see this, this balance was lost between harmony and disharmony. It became unstable and the people began to believe that maybe there was this new mandate brought down from the heavens to find a new ruler. All right. And they're like, okay, hey, hey, maybe something's going on. And all of a sudden, this disharmony might lead to, I don't know, or first let's do this. Where would disharmony come from? It might be like the peasants. They're starting to rebel. Maybe there was an earthquake. Is earthquake harmony from the gods? No. Maybe there's, there's floods, droughts, disease, war. Any of those things happening might get people thinking, scratching their head. Hey, maybe there's this new mandate from gods or mandate from heaven that we need to get a new dynasty going on and then somebody would challenge the old dynasty. So the Shangs were challenged by the Zhao. And the Zhao was challenged by the Qin. It says different unbalances would happen. Okay? So before we get in a little bit deeper in here, let's go like one last thing. All of this, you know, it may sound a lot like with some stuff you may know already, what's called the divine right of kings. Now, some of you may know that, man, some of you don't. Well, this is going to be the exchange or, or the, the, the changing of different kings or European leaders from Europe. And we'll talk about this a little later, later, later on. You'll actually talk about it in ninth grade and all. But the divine right of kings is just like what's called the mandate of heaven. All right. So a lot of times opposition to the king or queen 
was essentially, now we're talking about in Europe here, it was a sin. Because the king was chosen by God. Now, okay, so compare what's going on in Europe with the divine right of kings. Now over in China, we call it the mandate of heaven. It held that gods did not, or excuse me, it did give people the right to rule. It was their right. And if you challenged this this mandate from heaven by challenging the emperor or king, whether you're in Europe or China, you were doing something pretty bad. But if here's the deal. If your challenge wins, everybody's like, well, dang, that's right. We've got to have this new ruler. Because if God really wanted this person to rule, then they, the gods, the heavens, would not have allowed this person to take over this other guy. So there you go. A little bit about the mandate of heaven and why gods are, or the Chinese people saw that the gods were really in charge. And they didn't have a problem. Whereas one dynasty took over the other. All right. Good deal. Have fun. Let's see what Alexa has for us. Alexa, tell us another joke. Why did Karl Marx dislike Earl Grey? Because all property is theft. I don't get it either, but there you go. Thanks, Alexa. We'll see you later. Peace out, everybody. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you on the next go-round.